Oh, look! Oh! Yeah! Damn! Blackbeard! Ooh. Yo, YouTube, it's your boy M. Let's come back again with some more One Piece. We got episode 1092. And, um, yeah. Last episode, bro. We've now officially touched down into Egghead Island. And it looks crazy, bro. It looks crazy. Everything is so futuristic. We got a vendor machine that gives us Big Mac meals. Nah, it's nuts, bro. It's nuts. And then we met Vega Punk as well. Vega Punk, obviously. It's not Vega Punk. Robin, Robin last episode was like, yeah, you're not Vega Punk. Yeah, man, I wonder what we're gonna get into this episode, man. That being said, man, let's jump into it. Let's get it. Let's go. Darkness lurking on a future island. Do you know what? As One Piece like episode titles go, that's not a bad one, bro. Normally they be like spoiling the entire episode. What government? Oh. <laughs> Bro, what's going on with go to you? himself into six is nuts, right? Punk one, Shaka. Shaka so called. <laughs> Edison. Pythagoras, you know. <laughs> Yeah, we met Atlas. When are we gonna meet the original? When are we gonna meet the OG? <laughs> so like an offshoot Mario. Oh look! Oh, Kumar! But it's not Kumar. What do they call him again? There's, there's the the pacifist. It's not a pacifist though. You saying no? I, I mean, yeah, it is. But it's a different type of pacifist, right? It's like the what do they call him? Seraphim? Seraphim? I can't remember. Yo! Mega Punk got a target on his back from the world government. Oh yeah. Things are getting crazy. <laughs> Yo. Luffy actually looks like his uh imposter. You remember his imposter? pre-time skip was it pre-time skip or post-time post skip he actually looks like his uh imposter right there bro that's funny as hell nah listen try give me a vending machine like that i'm going crazy as well <laughs> yo Yo, Bonnie Loki would fit in perfectly with the crew. I'm not gonna lie, chat. Loki. She would Loki make a great straw hat member. Ain't it crazy how if Utah was to appear right now, you wouldn't be like surprised because I feel like Utah, the way she's the way she's like um designed, she would fit perfectly into Egghead Island, like. And apparently, ain't Utah supposed to be like canon? Oh, fashion! Are we gonna get some new clothes? Yo, that took his hat. Okay, I was about to say, bro. I can't mess up. You can't mess with the hat. Oh, yes, sir. We are about to get dripped out. I swear, Oda's ahead of his time, bro. Because, like, you see those boots? You see those fucking moon boots? Wasn't that in fashion, like, a couple months ago? Where people were wearing those massive fast boots? Those Astro Boy boots, bro? Come on, bro. Oda's really a fashion like pioneer. Let's not let's not get it twisted. Jinbei and his Hawaiian drip, bro. He really is such a dad, dude. <laughs> okay, bunny. Look at Chopper, dude. 
I'm dead. Jinbei is funny as hell. You know, the, the robots were obviously trying to violate. Jinbei was like, nah, you're not touching this uh bottom part of my thing here. Nah, you're not going nowhere near these bars. He must have like, he must have done Fishman Karate or one of the robot things. I was like, no, you're not touching that. Observation. Look at Kuma, dude. Yeah, it looks like he's the police. Looks like he's the feds. Ooh, we hackied up already. We putting on that melanin already. Why would he run though? That's not like Luffy. Puts the melanin on, then runs away from the police. Well, well. Yo. Ooh, the dodges. I love, I love this OST. This nigga Luffy's not used to the clothes yet, bro. He keeps tripping over. Bonnie. Yeah. Damn. Why? Oh, okay. oh yeah, yeah, of course. She sees Kuma in like all the pacifistas, dude. Damn. Damn, chat. Oh. Damn. Wow, I really feel for her right here, chat. The way they animated that. Look at Kuma. Oh my god. Look, bro, he looks like such a good dad right there, bro. He doesn't look menacing at all. Damn. Yeah, isn't your dad? He is a pacifist, but still. Bro, bro, ain't no way. Yo, why are they going out crazy? I feel like they destroyed like half the island with that blast right there. Bro, look at my boy Law, bro. Oh, chat, I'm getting chills because. Woo! Yo! <laughs> chat, this is really about to turn up. Blackbeard! Ooh! Our prey! Blackbeard versus Law! Bruh, we're about to get this! Yo, chat, hold on, man. I'm too hyped right now, man. These niggas fighting, bro. Hey, lock in. You got Blackbeard on the fucking loose. Yo! Yo! Oh, look at Burgess. Burgess, whatever his name is. Yo, what happened to half of his face? Was that Sabo? Is that because of Sabo? What? Well, well, back in Dress Rose, I think. Yeah, chat. It might be up for law right here. It might be GG's for law, bro. <laughs> Yo, bro. I want this. Let me see. Oh, I'm so tempted to see the preview. Oh, chat. I'm so tempted to see the preview. Yo, next episode, if they concentrate on the Black Bear and Law, oh my days, next episode is gonna be fire! Fire! I can't remember I can't remember in the manga if we get the fight on on screen or off screen. I don't know if they do off like oh, I can't remember if we actually see the fight fight. To me watching the anime, even though I've read a little bit ahead of the in, in the manga, like it's good, bro, because I'll be forgetting shit. Yo! We get the introduction to CPO, uh, CP0 and um, the Kuma Seraphim, Seraphim, Seraphim. I can't remember how you pronounce it. But yeah, it looks like they're on their way to Egghead Island as well. So, yo, shit is, shit is, shit is getting crazy. CP0 on, on the way to Egghead Island to, to, to kill off Vegapunk. Why? Why though? Vegapunk has been helping out the government for so long. Like, why are they on this guy's arse now? You get what I'm saying? Um, um, we got the, we got 
the Kumo situation, which is which is nuts, and Bonnie Kumo situation, nuts. We got um Blackbeard and Law, nuts. Uh yeah, man. Listen, this is peak One Piece right here. If you're not locked in already, you are missing out. So, hey, man. Yeah, great episode. If you enjoyed my reaction, make sure you drop a like, subscribe, comment down below what you thought, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.